also causing major damage. Pipes have been bursting, including this one we're looking at here in southwest Detroit. Now, this problem is fixed right now, but for how long? 7 Investigator Jim Kirchner is live with why this just may be a band-aid to a much bigger problem, Jim. That's right, Stephen. Take a look. The crew's been out here working on this fix and cleaning up the street. Looks like it's going to be open to traffic here soon. For the business owner here, he says this is costing him business, and it has not been just today. The last two months, we've been calling them, calling them, calling them, no answer, no nothing. Emailing them, sending them pictures. We told them that we're going to contact the news. That's what brought us out here yesterday. Look at the deep mess with several cars caught in it. City officials confirm this is an old water main that has broken several times over the years. We apologize to the residents and businesses that are on Trenton Street. The crew today has to patch the water main, remove about two feet of thick ice, and pump out the water to clear the street. City officials say the long-term fix here and in other locations should happen this year. It's a four-year program, $400 million program to re rehabilitate the water and sewer infrastructure in the city of Detroit. But the guy who bought this truck repair business three years ago says he'll believe it when he sees it. I already lost uh, faith that they are going to be able to fix this. But let's see, I mean, they might. So we're going to stay on this to make sure they follow through. But for now, for tonight, the fix is in. Live in southwest Detroit, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. Yeah, that's a long cold spell, though, Jim. This could happen again, and, of course, if it does, we'll be on it. Thank you very much, Jim Kirchner.